says in this week's Parsha, Parsha's Lech Lecho, it says in the last Pasuk of the Parsha, Be'etzam, Be'etzam Hayom Hazein, Nimol Avraham. Avraham Avinu had a bris mila. Who was the Avraham Avinu's moel? So it says in the Medrash, Tanchuma, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu Hashem, he was the moel, he helped Avraham Avinu do the bris mila. When was it? So there's two, um, the odd one holds that it was on Sukkot, and one holds that it was on Pesach, and who was the Sandak? The Medrash says the Sandak was Hashem. And it says in Aloha that you have to give a present. So Hashem gave Avraham Avinu Eretz Yisrael as a present to, for becoming a Sandak. And that's when Avraham Avinu was Zoichet to Eretz Yisrael. There's a famous story that's going around now with, um, on a Bruce Miller that the, there's a big groom in Eretz Yisrael it's called Dave Lachim. One of the, the, the rabbis over there gives shurim to Russians and one day a professor, a Russian comes in, math, mathematical professor comes in and he starts giving, um, he, he asks the, the, the rabbi if he can enjoy, join in his shur. But he has two conditions. One thing is that he, is the, he didn't do a bris mila yet. The other condition is that he's married to a non-Jew. And he doesn't want anyone to talk about those things. If you don't talk about those things, he doesn't mind coming to listen to the shur. So the rabbi says, let me think about it. He goes straight after the shur. He goes, takes a bus to, uh, to Bnei Brak, to Rav Shteyman, and asks Rav Shteyman. Rav Shteyman says, don't bring him into your shur. Learn, and, learn with the chavrus with him, individual, and learn Boba Metzia Perek Hazav. In, um, and learn by yourself. So that Avrech, the rabbi, comes back and starts learning with this professor. They start learning, and the, the rabbi sees that he's a genius, Mamish a professor. They start getting to the sugya, the most complicated sugya in Perak Zahav. And the professor doesn't understand. He tries again to explain, he doesn't understand, he doesn't understand. The professor didn't know what's going on. He heard that there was a Shivas Chevron in Yerushalayim. And the boy stay up late, so he went to go ask one of the Bochrim on Thursday night if he can learn with him. And they learned, and well, this Bochrim was understanding everything. The professor felt so guilty, he doesn't understand. So he thought maybe it's because he's not, doesn't have a bris. So he he called.